So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I know it's school and stuff. So now that I am on this break, I just decided to come back on here and show a video. Now that I got some storage on my phone, and I'm gonna be showing you guys this Model Ones kit. And these are the nails I did with the Model One kit. And I, I just show you guys that they're grown a lot with no lifting. And I'm gonna be showing you how I prep one nail. So now I'm pushing back the cuticles, making sure they're all pushed. And then next, I'm going to be taking my oh, Fanny Nail Drill. And this is the coarse bit. I didn't I didn't get this with the nail drill. I had to buy this separately. I buy this locally. Um, so yeah, I don't know where I can take this to buy this drill bit if you're interested. So now I'm just going to be taking now the bulk of my nails. Now today's video... Well, I show you guys this. I wanted to share my experience with the Model One kit. I bought this kit mainly for school, based on all the reviews on YouTube and everything that I've seen. It was either between Model Ones or McCart. These are the two popular ones that you were seeing. So I went with the Model Ones because they sold me on the color changing poly gel along with the rhinestones and the glitter that they give you. I know that if you guys are into nails, you probably see this kit. One million and one times, a million and one times. Um, so yeah, I just want to share my experience because I never, I don't see people talking negatively about this kit. It's always good things. So I just want to share my experience. This is not so hit on model ones or anything. I still think it's a good kit, but you can see why I saw so later on in the video. So. Yes, so I'm taking on the bulk and I realized that the top part of my nail, that wasn't the gel, that was the nail poly gel from this kit that I had done. This was like a second, this was like the third infill or refill that I'm doing on the nails. So that's why, because I use the nude and then I use a white. So yeah, that's, that's why. I'm sorry for not posting. The main reason why I, post, I didn't post is because of school and because... I had to get storage for school on my phone and I film on my phone so I couldn't, you know, handle both. But now being in quarantine, I got some space on my phone so now I'm just going to be doing a video which I'm so excited about. Uh -huh. I just, I just like to do these videos. Um, So now I'll be just removing the dead cuticle around my nails. As you can see, I don't really have that much. I really don't got that much a cuticle I would see it um not that much cuticle at all because you can see how long how far these have grown out and how little cuticle I have but anyway I'm just gonna be removing all the dead skin from around the nail plate and I'm just gonna let you guys watch it I feel like I'm I was talking forever <laughs> So now I'll be taking the scraper side of the, the cuticle pusher and scraping out any dead cuticles that I have around the side walls of my nails. Just scraping them out because these will cause lifting if you left them. So then I go back in and do another push, a final push. And then I go back in with the nail drip to remove any extra cuticles that I scrape back up. So after I remove, or I feel like I removed most of my dead cuticle, I'm going to go in with this, uh, this sanding bit, right? <laughs> this sanding bit, and I'm going to be etching my natural nail. So you mainly want to focus this on the natural nail. And yeah, just this is just going to make the nails last longer. And now I'm going to be just moving out that part of my nail because it was pretty... But I <laughs> so these are the four nails so I'm going to go off camera and do the rest and I'll be back so back <laughs> anyhow so these are the nails after I prepped them and then I'll be using 
Well, I'm going to take out the base coat, top coat, which I didn't use, the slip solution. I did use this. I didn't use the top coat. And then we have light apricot, light pink, all the things. And I decided to use light apricot because it's my least favorite color. And I think it's the fullest. So that's why I used it because it'll be covering up. Covering, covering it up so now we'll take this venus nail farms that i did get from amazon as well i really love these so i will link these in the description below if you guys want to check these out it's very sturdy very thick and yes so i just stuff the nails to get rid of any dust on the nails that can cause lifting and i put on the farm off camera so i'm not going there with my nail prep the hydrator from me secret the primer from me secret as well I'm just gonna let that set for a little while and then I went and used the base coat. So you want to use a base coat first before you use the poly gel every single time if the manufacturers recommends it it recommends it. So I watched a video that from Neil by Nikki and she was using the base coat as a slip solution. So I decided to try that out today. So I put a little drop of base coat in my dapping dish and I decided to just squeeze the gel out the tube. It wasn't a good idea because <laughs> I should just use the scrape button. But I really didn't feel like it. I didn't want to do all of that so I just do this and look at the mess I made. Look at it. Look at the mess that I made. Next time. I didn't even learn my lesson. I just continued to do that out on all the nails. So anyways, I just take the brush, dip it in the base coat, and um, I'll, I will be trying my very hardest to farm this nail. As you can see, this poly gel is very sticky. Like, it's more of a hard gel and not poly gel. And that's how I had to use it. Like, it was like a hard gel instead of poly gel because it wasn't working. And I figured it's because of my climate, it's because Barbados, which I live, is very hot, is a hot place, I guess. Not to me, I feel like it's pretty regular, but I guess for the poly gel, it would be like very thick. And I don't live in an AC room, I don't, I didn't have an AC bedroom or anything like that. So I feel because it was, it wasn't cold enough for it, it was very sticky. No, my, my issue is that when I watch the videos, when I first applied my poly gel kit, I was so excited. I was like very excited for the color changer one. And the color changer one was just like white. It was clear. And I was like, I can't buy a batch or something. Because all the videos I watch, these people, when they opened it, their first one, it was purple. So I checked mine in the freezer, take it back up, still not purple. I was like, hmm? So I put it in some cold water on my finger and it turned purple. So I was like, probably because my bed isn't that cool. So this is why I figured that it wasn't cold enough for the poly gel to be working like how it should. So I would say if you do decide to get this product, please keep in mind that it might not, that if you live in a, high, a hot place, that you might just get the same reaction that I did. I don't know if it's the case that I get a bad bat charge just because I live in a hot climate, which I feel it is. Because this thing was self leveling. Poly gel isn't supposed to self level. So I figured it's because I live in a hot climate. So I tried my hardest to work with the product. So that's what I'm doing. I know I let you guys watch me struggle for a little while. <laughs> but as you can see, I turned my finger upside down. And you see how that was before I turned my finger upside down. And I just let that self level, but it's on its own. And then when I turn it around, it was good. So I just, you could see that it kind of level out now. It level out itself, which poly gel isn't supposed to do for the 100th time. <laughs> so, anyhow, I put this in the lab for 60 seconds plus 30 seconds to make sure that it's cured completely and then I'll be back after curing this is how the nail looks 
I'm going to pack up. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm going to be taking off the farm to show you guys how the nail looks. So I was making sure that the underneath is completely cured because sometimes that do happen when you're using farms, the underneath iron isn't cured properly. So this is the nail and I will be doing, so I had the brilliant idea to put my poly gel in the freezer to see if that would help it. So because as I say, I feel like it's supposed to be cold when working with it. So I put it in the freezer to see if that would make the situation better so i'm gonna put it in the freezer and then i'll show you i put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes 5 10 minutes so after i take it out the freezer was kind of hard to open because it probably left me in there too long so i was squeezing it oh it was very tough to squeeze out but eventually i did get it too as you can see i was struggling very very much So I guess when you use poly gel, that's what the poly gel is supposed to actually be, be very thick and probably not that difficult to get out the tool, but at least, yeah. You can see me in the background cleaning off my brush from the first nail that I did. And then once it gets off the gel, I'm going to dip in it in the slip solution this time because I didn't really let the base go. I don't know if it's because the poly gel was too soft, but I just use what I'm comfortable with. And, you know, at this point, I was like, yes, it's working. Every single time I got to my poly gel nails, I can put it in the freezer for a little bit and that can work. But it didn't. As you can see right about here, it started to get a little bit sticky again. And I was like, oh my goodness, no. <sighs> but I worked with it how, how I could and made it work for me. So I'm going to just let you guys watch me do this and then I'll be back. So once I'm finished with all the nails, these are how they look and I'm just going to be removing the nail farms so that you guys see them. Um, I know they are a bit messy and you guys obviously know why already. They are messy. I know I probably I could, I could have done a better job at my application but I was just working with what I had to be honest. Um, so... I was filling the underneath of them to make sure that they're cured properly and I took off my flash and I'll put it back on because I like it better with a flash anyhow so these are the look um, before I shape them 
a bit rough, a bit rough. <laughs> but it ain't nothing that foiling cannot fix. So now I'm taking my 100 by 100 grit foil by me a secret. Some people might say that this foil is too rough for poly gel, but it get the job done for me. I feel like this was a foil that I used already, so it wasn't as coarse as it would be. So yeah. So I just keep that in mind too. I don't know what I said anymore. So now I'll just be, be filing I'll just be filing the nail in the shape that I want it to be. I didn't show you guys my whole filing process. I hand filed all these nails. I and then show you guys at the end so you guys will see that. So I'm just filling my side walls in and then when I'm done I'll be back to show you guys how my nails look when I'm finished filing. So when I'm finished filing, I'm going to show you guys how they look. I'm going to come back on camera. Don't mind my little, um, what is going on? This snap thing to the next clip. I was trying out something. I was so excited. Ah, cool. There they are. <laughs> so these are my nails after I shape them and I spray some alcohol on them. Yep, a bit of filing I had to do. But yes, I would still say get this kit if you really really need to i'm glad that i have it because i don't have a uh, acrylic liquid so i'm glad i got this polish gel so do my nails now that i am in quarantine so if you guys like this video thumbs it up and bye